All right, if you are a Jehovah's Witness, you are no doubt very excited about the revised version of the New World Translation. And I want to thank the person that sent this to me some weeks back. If you're a Jehovah's Witness, I hope you have one of your own. But it is rather incredible, the vast apostate network out there that could get me one of these so early. And uh, I'm going to be making a couple of videos about this Bible. And um, in this video, I'm not going to be criticizing it. I'm actually going to be talking about a couple of things that I like about it. Not to say that it's a good translation, but just a couple of things that I like about it. Um, one of the things that I like about it, just from perusing it just a little bit, is that they did smooth out the language just a little bit. It's still really wooden, it's still really rough, and all in all it's still a really terrible, in my opinion, translation. But the language is a little bit smoother, and it was interesting to me because Jehovah's Witnesses used to tell me all the time how great the New World Translation was and how easy it was to read and how smooth it was. And clearly the uh, Watchtower disagreed with you on that point because one of the reasons that they stated for um, revising it was to smooth out the language and make it more modern. And also, according to that one brother, to make it sister-proof. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Um, you can take a guess on your own what that might mean. Um, one other thing that I like about the Bible is that there were really some terribly translated verses in the old version of the New World Translation due to the incompetence of the translators. And uh, one of those verses was Job 6.6. 6. I like this verse because it makes me laugh. But in the old version it read, Will tasteless things be eaten without salt, or is there any taste in the slimy juice of marshmallow? Now, that's just such a bizarre rendering of that scripture. I really like the way that they changed it in the new version. It's much closer probably to what the verse is supposed to say. Or is there any flavor in the juice of a mallow, which is a plant? But more likely, the uh, correct translation probably is egg white. Um, but I don't think anybody knows for sure. The only thing that we do know for sure is that it's not a marshmallow. So I like the fact that they corrected some of the incompetence from the old translation. But here's my favorite part of the Bible. My favorite part of the new translation is that um, I've been talking with Jehovah's Witnesses for years and years and years about John 17.3. In where the old translation said, this is everlasting life. They're taking a knowledge of you. And I've said so many times and I've had so many debates with Jehovah's Witnesses over the years where they would say, no, it's taking a knowledge. And I would say, no, it's knowing God. It's knowing Jesus. And they would say, no, the correct translation is taking a knowledge. Well, I'm so happy that the Watchtower has finally come to their senses and finally realized that Christendom and all of us Christians for all these years have been correct in our rendering of that scripture. Here's how they translate it. This means everlasting life. They're coming to know you. Now they still leave the old wording of it in a footnote, but I'm not exactly sure why they would leave it in a footnote. It's either taking a knowledge or they're coming to know you. One is personal, one is impersonal. And uh, it would seem to me any common sense reading of the Bible um, would show you that God is a personal God, not an impersonal God. So I like the fact that they changed John 17, 3 to make it more personal. And I'm glad that they vindicated me um, showing all you Jehovah's Witnesses out there who have argued with me over the years that I was indeed correct and I knew what I was talking about. So that's my video on the things that I like about the revised New World Translation. And as I go through it a little bit more, um, I'll probably make some more videos about the things that I don't like about it. So uh, I hope, though, that that new rendering of John 17.3 gives you something to think about. <laughs>